is a bit crazy. This is so strange. This door seems to be working. Reconstruction is complete. Mental integration of neural repairs is beginning. You are asleep and may experience misfiring of neurons for up to several hours as biological and electronic components synchronize. Use this room to retain mental stability during the process. We thank you for your service to your country, and will do everything in our power to provide a speedy recovery. Reconstruction is complete. Mental integration of neural repairs is beginning. You are asleep and may experience misfiring of neurons for up to several hours as biological and electronic components synchronize. Use this room to retain mental stability during the process. We thank you for your service to your country and will do everything in our power to provide a speedy recovery. Reconstruction is complete.
Alive after all, but barely. Reconstruction, repairs, integration. From inside this dream it seemed distant enough to be something I imagined. Those words bring it back into sharp focus. We were torn to pieces by an explosion that should never have happened, caused by an enemy that shouldn't have been there. The weeks prior to all this, I had dreams about coming home. Both wonderful and horrifying. But it seems the dreams about combat are coming back, different from before. There is clarity in my goals and movements. I feel powerful and focused. I am alone. It's only inside this room that I worry about the others. Who else might have survived and what remains of them? Perhaps that's why it's so tempting to leave and enter the chaos outside. But is chaos all it is? What if there's a message in what I see when my mind isn't padded by these walls? Alive after all, but barely.
these experiences are the very opposite of a message? What if they're a deliberately structured lie? The path that led me here was nothing like this. The future will be nothing like this. There won't be a second chance. The last months have been a series of increasingly slim first chances. We had to take them, but we knew the risks, and maybe I was just lucky to make it out alive. It's been tempting not to think about the past, but my memories are intact. I have no excuse for taking the easy way out.
possibly be in all this? I've seen the veterans who have gone through these repairs. They live decent lives, as decent as life gets while the war is still raging. But they are not fit for combat. So why am I thrust back onto a battlefield every time I leave the room? On the other hand, it's all very different. The events that brought me here couldn't happen in this world. Everything is within reach here. It reminds me of what I imagined when I first heard of the concept of military cybernetics as a kid. But when I enlisted, those thoughts were far behind me. So why are they surfacing again now of all times?
We never had a chance to succeed. Our objectives turned out to be meaningless when we reached our destination. And the eventual attack that put me here happened without warning and without a chance to react. This dream can't be an allegory to describe the reality we fell victim to. What is its purpose? To shield against the truth? Whether it is for good or bad, I'm not sure. Maybe this is a trick my mind is playing on me with the best intentions. But that sort of illusion will eventually crack, and I'm not sure that I'll like what's underneath.
having made my way through another mission in the clouds, I'm beginning to see a possible reason for why this is happening, and why it has to stop. It may be the reason the medical staff asked me to retain mental stability, so I wouldn't get caught up in what is effectively the fallout of a traumatic experience. One of the last things I remember before losing consciousness was how helpless we felt. This was not just me. Everyone who survived the explosion didn't just know that we would have to lie there and wait for help to arrive, but also that there was nothing we could have known, nothing we could have done. It wasn't our mistakes that brought us there. We felt helpless because there was nothing we could learn from it. This must be what my mind is so desperately trying to escape from.
It may be time for me to accept what the correct term for this dream world is. A lie. Someone is lying to me to protect my mind from what will break it. It could be me. There are such things as psychological defense mechanisms, and this absurd castle in the air seems increasingly like one of those. Battles the way I dreamed about them as a child, before I'd seen the war. But even more disturbing is the possibility that the people reconstructing my body and brain have inserted this to stop me from losing my mind before I even regain consciousness. Who would bring in images from my childhood's imagination to keep me in the dark? What could possibly justify that?
put my finger now on what lives in these visions that the war lacked. Progress. Every step along the way brings me closer to something. It certainly feels like what I need right now. Clear goals and the means to achieve them. When I eventually wake up, resting and recovering will be the last thing on my mind. I haven't dared to think it before now. But it's possible that this environment is preparing me for what is really ahead. The question is whether this is a metaphor or an actual window into the future.
since I first left this room and handed over control to my shaken mind. It has repeated these scenarios where I have just the power to meet any challenge I face, where the mission is always possible to complete. This is a world providing a sense of control, of power. Everything we were deprived of in the chaos of those final days. I remember believing once that as long as we had the will to fight on, we couldn't truly be stopped. But I left those ideas on the wayside long ago. I refuse to be comforted by them now. Perhaps in seeing through this lie, I can begin to understand what happened to us after all.